You want to see how I made this bouquet from start to finish? Then you're going to have to go ahead and stay tuned. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Winnie, and I'm back <laughs> with another video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing to your girl's channel. New videos posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. A1 since day one, or however long you've been here, I sure appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about already, man. It's all up. So today, I'm going to be doing my sister a candy slash chip slash wax melt bouquet so i got these uh little wax melts uh from aldi um i went in there for something else but then i cannot stay away from the aldi finds aisle so i saw these and i said you know what i said she likes stuff that smells good and you can smell these through the um plastic or whatnot and um so what i did was i took some shipping tape to make sure that the uh package stayed closed and I went around the front part and then I just put a generous amount of Gorilla Glue uh, hot glue on there. Um, these little sticks that right here that I'm using, they are actually wooden dowels and I got them from my local Michaels and um, I actually had some that were left over from before because I did order some, but um, mysteriously they were not in the bag and so your girl gonna get a refund all together they were $5.98 and so I like to ensure that the stuff is adhered on very very well okay okay and so I got her um a lot of her favors I did ask my brother what kind of snacks she liked and um the only thing <laughs> The only thing that stood out to me that he said that she liked were the limon chips. I call them pickle chips. My daughter correct me all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and say that what the proper name is here on YouTube. The limon chips was the only thing that stood out to me. And so I was like, well, I remember that she likes Butterfingers. I know she liked Toblerones. And I know she likes Ferrero Rocher. So I said to myself, I said, so myself said, huh? I said, we go. Go ahead and get her some Fer Ferrero Rocher and some Toblerone. And so most, almost everything except for the hot glue and the dowels and the skewers, because I do use um, some skewers and the skewers I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, they were not a dollar. They were $1. twenty-five, And you already know how I feel about that if you don't know. It's a whole video on TikTok. So I did make a mistake with the chips. I should have... Um, like started up there where it says citrus and then work my way down instead of just starting where about where it says crispy because that did um, make it to where the chip looked the chip bag looked flicked I didn't like how the chip bag looked but um, I was like okay well I know what to do next time if I decide to do something like this and so I like to put the hot glue on and then I like to place everything off to the side to allow the hot glue to dry a little bit quicker. And so um, I think I pulled out about, I don't know, I pulled out several, let's count, two, four, six, six wooden skewers. And um, instead of starting with the Ferrero Rocher, I just... I decided to go ahead and start with the Butterfingers because they were right there. And so what you want to do is you want to ensure that... Whatever you, like, if you decide to start, however you put your your first thing of candy on there, as far as, like, this Butterfinger, you want to make sure that all the other ones look the same. You want everything to be dressed right dress. You don't want any, any of them to be upside down. You don't want any of them to, like, see, you see how this back one, this one right here, like, you don't want some of them to have the little flap going one way you just want to make sure that everything looks nice you know what i'm saying and it's as straight as possible as straight as it can be so i did do just a little bit of glue and this time instead of trying to press it while it was still hot i went in between the stick 
and then pressed it. And then I uh, allowed it to um, sit for a little bit. Then I moved on to the next one. And I did see that I was uh, off to the right a little bit. So I will, once I move this one, and I did, I like to put more glue on there because I want my stuff to fall off. Okay. That is just, <laughs> that is just so tacky when some fall off. I'm going to tell y'all about what happened though. So I took my stuff up there. Well, I took this gift up there to for my sister-in-law, right? So whenever I came downstairs from, you know, sleeping and stuff and went and checked on the stuff, two of the Ferrero Rochers had popped off. And it was at that moment that I knew that I messed up. I said to myself, I said, self, I said, we don't have time to, we ain't got time for all that. You just got, so basically what I ended up doing was I transported it in one of the little Amazon boxes. And so what I did was um, I put her box, uh, well, her bouquet, as well as my nephew's bouquet in the same box. And that way, if any more of the Ferrero Rochers fell out, then what I did was um, like they fell in the box. So it's not like they like fell and hit the floor or something like that. They were um, in a safe location um, just for that reason. Because when I left, honey, or as I was leaving they just start to pop off. And so I do not recommend, I don't recommend that you do Ferrero Rocher on a stick unless you're going to take your hot glue and then stick, uh, like take the Ferrero Rocher ball off from the little brown cup part and then put hot glue on that and then stick it back. Like if you do it that way, then it may stay. But um, yeah, I don't, yeah, it just... It didn't really work out, you know what I'm saying? But that was an, another learning uh, tool. I was thinking about like going around the rim of the cup and then like making sure that that stuck on that way. But child, I just thought, I thought that it was strong enough. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm doing right here is I'm checking and I'm looking because I want all of the Ferrero Rocher label to um, face the same exact direction what well, as best as it can and so I think it had like an e at the bottom but the you can't go by the e on there because it doesn't uh everything doesn't face the same way so instead of just like slapping it on there I decided to um try to make it look as best as possible so when I saw with well, my brother uh yesterday for me I don't know when it's gonna come out for y'all but when I saw the uh bouquet on her kitchen counter yesterday, I said, oh boy. I said, whoa, she's missing a lot of rare <laughs> rochers. But uh, she really liked the gift. Um, she really, really liked it. And so I was really glad that I was able to do something like that for her. And then like do something uh, different than what the normal candy bouquets I've seen. Because a lot of the candy bouquets, they just do candy. But I did like the wax melts and I added a shirt and then I did do the candy and the chips. And so it was a really, really big hit. Really, really like doing it. It was so quick and easy. I think um, I think I want to say it only took me about 20 minutes or so to do it from start to finish. I did have uh, two other candy bouquets to do but um those were really really quick and as you can see my nails are clear and so I was rushing because I was like look because I did t-shirts so for this day right here I think it was a Tuesday so I did t I did nine t-shirts then on top of that I did her candy bouquet putting assembling everything together all at the same time then I did a candy bouquet for Braylon and one for my nephew and then I did my nails so I didn't get done with my nails till about mm, like 10 some or something like that. But I didn't really like how my nails turned out. And so um, I am going to end up taking this stuff off <laughs> sooner rather than later. Um, I can't say. No, nah, they're not going to get a whole week. They're not going to get a whole week. Um, I just really don't like how they turned out. So this has been Journey with Wendy. I'm mean, she, her, and Wendy. New videos posted every Tuesday and Wednesday. New videos post every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. You see how you see how it look flicked right there? How it's like, I don't know. It's like, 
I don't, I don't, it's like it's hunched over. The chips look like they hunched over. So then I did pull them off to the side because I wanted them to be like out. I wanted them to stand out. And so I think what I'm, uh, I may do, I'm not going to tell y'all because then folks be copying what I'm talking about. So I ain't even going to tell you. Anyway, so uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Or you can hit your girl up at Journey with Wendy with an I, 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 not a Y at gmail.com. And with that, you know what that means, that your girl is what? Your girl is a old time out, time out, time out.